Hey. Hey, you. You. You got an extra $250,000 you don't need? Yeah, a quarter million dollars. What do you mean I'm stupid? What do, you, what do you mean what I need that for? Well, you see, I dropped my pills down the toilet, my Oxycontin, and, and I need some more. Oh, come on, Doc. You know, you know I, wouldn't, I wouldn't screw with you, man. I don't lie to you. Really? Doc? Look, Doc, please. Just, just this one time. Okay, I was over the toilet. I know I shouldn't be doing it. I needed it. I wanted it. I took it while I was going to the bathroom, and I dropped them in. Really? You'll do it? Hey, thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. Wow. $250,000? What the crap does OxyContin cost $250,000 for? You know what you just did? <laughs> you just put that gentleman's or ladies, doctor's job on the line. That's illegal to give you any narcotics within a certain period of time, within that 30 days. I know. That's why I'm calling this little segment. Hey, you got, you got an extra Oxycontin? Can you imagine asking, can you imagine asking somebody that? I have. When you find out that someone else is on any kind of pain pill, it doesn't matter what it is. Your friends. Hey man, you got an extra one? Look, I really got some pain. You know, I know you're on something. Can you give me a couple? I used to do it. People used to do it to me. And when I was in the hospital, I just had a kidney taken out, by the way. And with no pain pills, no, no narcotics at all. I'll, that's another video. What I'm trying to get at here is while I was in the, in the hospital, oh my God, walking around, I saw myself in certain rooms because I heard things as I was walking around like, can I have another pain pill? Oh, come on. It's only another 15 minutes. You can get me one. I what? I can't have any more for two more hours. What do you think this is? What am I going to do? I heard that all the time. And I'm thinking to myself, that was me. That used to be me. I used to be in that bed, and I used to go, oh, how long can I wait? What can I do? How can I get this? And I used to... I used to do nothing but think about how I can get my next, my next high, my next pill. I was already on the highest amount you could get. When I ended up doing my, my addiction, at the end, I was taking 200 milligrams of Oxycontin every day, legally, through a doctor, and anything else I could get my hands on. No, no pot, nothing. Pills. Pills. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, here I am, link, listening to this, going, that used to be me. Now think what you're doing to the doctors. Think what you're doing to those nurses when you go to them and, and you beg and you plead. They know you're lying to them half the time, most of the time, if you're addicted. If you're really in pain and you're not an addict, it's a whole nother story. You need it, you take it, you got it. Really. But, if you're an addict, you don't... You can, you'll take anything they give you as much as they want all the time. You're actually asking people to bring stuff in for you. Crazy, huh? But think what you're doing to them. How does that affect their record? How are they going to explain to their supervisor? Because those, most doctors, if you go to a place like a clinic or something, they have 
supervisors or doctors that actually are in charge of that whole building. And, they, and if something happens, it's their fault. Their fault. So they have to answer that. Now, even if they don't, it's still on the record. So if they pulled their records to look at how much Oxycontin this doctor's given these people out, or how much has he given out to this person, and he sees that he's giving you extra ones every other month, it's gone. And the reason I said two fifty, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I'm just giving that an average. It's you know, doctor. You know, they probably make that. I don't know. I didn't look it up. I don't really care. I just let's just say two fifty for an average. We know some of them make millions and some of them make nothing. But just say two fifty. You imagine you, you 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 took that away from them. You could actually take that. And the nurses, if they did this, they're fired. They're gone. Their whole life they've been doing their job. You know what that is? That's you. Think about it. You are doing that to them. You're putting them in positions they don't need to be in. They got enough crap going on with all these sick people. And then they got to deal with you lying right to their face. You know how I know? <laughs> because I went in one time and said, hey, to my regular doctor, he was gone. So I went in there and I said, hey, I lost my... And they said, you can't get any. The doctor's gone. I says, come on. And I pleaded and begged. I was there for like a half hour. They finally gave in. They gave me 10. Can you imagine? Begging and pleading. That's how bad it is. And I got them. And I put them in jeopardy. Not caring. I didn't care. I do now. And if you're watching this, if you happen to be seeing... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. Because it was wrong. But sitting here in lovely Bridgeton, at a park in Bridgeton, um, I was just thinking about my, my hospital visits and how it used to be and what happened. And that came to mind that, you know, we don't need to be like that. But at Body and Mind Redesign, I can't tell you what to do. You have to want to want to want to do it. And I mean really want to do it. You have to get to the point where you really want to. But if this, if this video, now look, I'm not a doctor. I have, I have no credentials, I have no books. I don't know anything when it comes to booking. But I know what I went through. And I went through stuff like this. Every video on this website, every video on Facebook I have, every video on YouTube is a video about something that happened to me. And if you feel that you need to talk to someone because something like this happened to you, or you don't know how to deal with your addiction, you just need someone to talk to. I have a Gmail site. Contact me. Bodyandmindredesign.com and bodyandmindredesign at gmail.com Contact me. We'll talk. That's all. Doesn't cost anything. I just want to help people. I want to help you get through it. You know why? You need it. I didn't have anybody to talk to when I was going through all the stuff I was going through. I had to go through it. Yes, you have your family and your wife and you, you know, and you have everybody around you, but do you have anybody that you can talk to and look at them and they understand your addiction? No, I didn't. And that's why I'm here. I'm trying to help you look at the situation. And if you need to talk, please, that's all, that's all. But you know, I have a website that you can go on and, and uh, I'm going to be having a, now that all this stuff with my kidney is done, and again, that's another video. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos and it's going to be something that, and, and also having a, uh, a newsletter, it's going to be something that I want to inspire you to, to go on and to keep going. And I know you're not going to talk to me all the time, but if you can get on a newsletter every month and get some good news, that's what I want to do. So if you want to keep doing that, please like me on Facebook, like me on my page, go to my page, sign up, be a friend, whatever you want to do. But please, look at what you're doing. But you have to want to do it. You really do. It's all about you, man. Come on. Get off those things.
You need doctors to help you because they're going to give you stuff to bring you down slow. I did it wrong. And that's another video too. I did it wrong. I did it all myself. And I shouldn't have. So, next time that you're thinking about going to the doctors and asking, hey, can I have some extra Oxycontin? I uh, dropped mine down the toilet. Think about it. Or look at what's going on. Say to yourself, uh-uh. And get help. So come on, look at my other videos. If there's something that gets you and you want to talk about, please. There's many on there. So thank you very much, but I can't keep coming and doing this. And I can't keep giving all these tips and what's going on and things that happen to me. Unless I do one thing, and that's say, adios, see ya.